Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have another completed project to share. I created another one of these junk type mini albums like the one that I created for Diamond Dyes. Only this one I created more in a shabby chic way and also um, uh, I not only did I use some of the packaging from the Tim Holtz um, uh, stencils uh, I, I only had a couple of those left, so which wasn't enough for me to complete a whole nother little book. So I decided to use one of these envelopes, and this is from the Paper Studio, and it's just one of those long envelopes, really cool. You see like long policy envelopes type thing, and then I use one of these larger tags that are also from Ranger. So I just, you know, folded them in half along with the packaging to those stencils, folded them in half and assorted them all together, you know, fit them all together in a, um, and then I punched holes, this is it, then I punched holes through all the pieces on the top and the bottom, then I fed, you know, my baking, not baking, is it baking floss? My mind just went blank. blank. Anyway, the, um, you know, baking twine. That doesn't sound right. But I thread it with this. <laughs> and um, I created, you know, um, a large signature. So that's what I, that's how I created this. For this one, I used the Butterfly Collection by Jody Lee by Prima. Beautiful papers. These soft colors. Um, it's just gorgeous paper. It's not one of the newer collections, but it is gorgeous. A lot of butterflies, a lot of fairies in here. Just really, really fun. So that's the paper that I used. I hadn't used it yet. So, And then I also created some of my own flair um, using these epoxy dots that you could find on eBay and, and uh, you know, one inch circle punch. And then I also created some tiles, you know, there's some cut aparts in the collection, so I backed them with some heavy duty cardstock and used my cloth, glossy accents and, you know, just created some embellishments. I also used my gold, um, my gold Wink of Stella, which works out beautifully. So for, for this one, um, for the band to enclose it, I used this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It's kind of stretchy, and I just adhered it here uh, with my glue gun, and I used the wooden embellishment over the seam. So it works real, real well as an enclosure for the album. And then I painted all of my pages with uh, white gesso, and then I went over it with some warm white acrylic paint because I wanted it to have that shabby that shabby um, look about it. And then after I adhered all my paper to each of the pages, I went over the border of each page with the paint as well, um, which also helped bring a shabby look to it. So so this is what I've done. This is the cover, and I um, titled this one Always, and um, this is one of the word beads. You could find these at Michael's. Um, I went over some of the illustrations um, from the collection using my Stardust pen, and it is beautiful. It's this, and I find myself using this particular Stardust uh, pen a lot more than my Wink of Stella for some reason. I just love this pen. But anyway, so I don't know if you could see the glitter or the shimmer in that um, fairy butterfly, but it's there. I created a little flare here with an image from the collection and um, I layered the wooden banner on top of this piece of the paper up on dimensionals and there's some cheesecloth underneath just to give it a shabby feel. Um, uh, a flower from Prima. So that's that and in the the first page is this, and this is from a Spellbinders die that I picked up. I believe I got it from joannes.com, and it comes out like this, really cute. It's really beautiful, and you can make her face either way. 
but um, she cuts this way. So I went over over her with my tea stain um, distress ink and also the Stardust pen. And I thought she came out cute. I put her on dimensionals. Then I made a little buddy, belly band with some lace from Hobby Lobby and put a couple of the cut apart images in the belly band for some little notes or dates or what have you. And the next page, this is the other side of the envelope. See, the envelope is in there like this. So this page is this part of the envelope. And I had cut it here so that I could use it as a pocket. Whoops. So um, in the pocket, I did add a couple of tags that I'd cut from the collection. Just a couple of good size tags and the lace here is just lace from the two dollar spot at Michael's so um, nice place for journaling or a photo and then um, I created the flower using my punch and the little leaves are made from the um, Martha Stewart punch a little bit of cheesecloth underneath and you could see some of the acrylic paint that I used to outline each page. I thought it came out cute. And it was really quick to do, um, to be honest. And then for this page, I, I added... This is a... Uh, comes from another die that I have. I used a little paper doily here. And gave it a paper border here from the collection. Just a strip of paper. And this is one of the... Um, enamel dots that I created, really cute, and then just a little, a little fold out, you know, that I created from the um, paper, and it says sweet. So you could put something cute that somebody said or something in there, whatever. And then over here for this page, I had fussy cut her out and then put her on dimensionals on top of. Um, the same image there. This is, I also did some stamping with one of my Prima stamps, um, this script stamp here. And then um, I created this little um, piece here to catch these tags or tickets that I created out of the collection. Just really cute and simple. And for the next page, I added this lace from Hobby Lobby, this heart crochet lace, really cute. These are butterflies that I had created using some old vintage book pages. Um, and the Martha Stewart punch. And an art tile I, I made, and I used some of the gold Winkastella, if you could see that. It's shimmer. I don't know if it'll show up. But the gold Winkastella is really nice. Um, and then for this page, this is um, an Eiffel Tower um, die that I have. I forgot where I added. I think it's Memory Box or MFT die. I'm not sure. I think it's an MFT die. But anyway, I put it on dimensionals. There's a pink doily behind. I added some lace. And this is one of those um, tiles that I made with the glossy accents. So a cute little picture can go here. Um, I tore this and there's some lace behind there and you could see the paint, the warm white acrylic paint around the edges of the pages. And over here I made another little pocket um, pocket page. So this, this is one of my favorite images from the collection. Really stinking cute. And then I just made a couple of feminine tags using this pretty lace from Hobby Lobby. Um, really cute. Uh, for photos or journaling. Just really sweet. And um, a nice picture could go here. These are some more butterflies from the Martha Stewart punch. I fussy cut her out and put her on dimensionals. So I thought that was sweet. And then for the other side, I did use um, another pink doily here up on top. I used my tiny little banner punch to create this banner here, on, and I put them on pop dots. Um, this is a picture of the Eiffel Tower. It's a cut apart from the collection, 
and I just tucked, I used it to tuck these little pieces, um, happy moments, another sweet little image from the collection, whoops, and another little image, just really cute, and they could be tucked right back in there, a little heart enamel piece there. And then on this page, I used this lace, um, and I don't know, it's been in my stash for such a long time. Uh, I might have gotten it at Lavish Laces, Lavish Laces quite a while ago. Um, I added another butterfly here from the Martha Stewart Punch, and this is that map page. And this is a Prima button, a Prima flower, and feather that I had colored with the Tim Holtz tea stain and the Starlight pen so it shimmers if you can see that I don't know if you'll be able to catch that but it does and then this is the other side of the tag as you can see and I created another flare piece here and this little gold clip is keeping these little um they look like seed packet images really cute um so they're holding th those in place so maybe a cute photo of a flower in your garden can go there or whatever. Really sweet. And then over here you could see that I tied some of this Baker's twine. And I used um, just a, a button from my stash and this metal piece from my stash. Just for interest. And I used some of my sprays and a bow bunny. No, um, a recollection butterfly stamp. And just tried to, um, you know, create something pretty. <laughs> And then this is the other side of the envelope, as you can see, and there's a little tuck spot here for these pieces. And I did some more stamping, as you can see there, and that was with a Prima stamp, and I used my Glimmer Mist again here. So those can tuck back in here, and then inside the envelope, I did put a couple of shipping tags that I had stamped. And this is um, a recollection stamp. It's, I just printed fly and flutter on it. Um, and then on the back I did some more um, of my sprays. And this is from a Prima stamp. And I just put reflect. Another little butterfly. You know, just playing with my sprays and things. And those go back inside. And the Suprema flower here. And then on the opposite side is this really pretty lace that again I had gotten quite a while ago. Maybe from Lavish Laces, I can't remember now, but um, really pretty. And another one of those enamel dots that I created from the collection. Really sweet. Nice photo can go here. And then the back inside cover. I just took some of the cut aparts and kind of adhered them together create, to create a tuck spot. And um, I just created more ticket type pieces for photos or journaling or quotes or something that somebody said. Different things that you might want to remember. For this one, I tried a little doodling. Um, it says memories and remember. And then. I did some stamping and spraying and doodling, you know, just playing with my things. Um, I really, I wasn't feeling well, but I just really fe felt like being in here and playing, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what I did. And so that's the end of this one. So I thought this one came out really cute. And the um, band fits around here and there's plenty of room. To, for photos and receipts or tickets or whatever else you might want to save in here. There's plenty of room. This band is plenty big enough or, you know, we'll have enough give for that type of thing. So, um, thanks so much for watching and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.